Hi, this is Julie with Petty John Quilting, and today I'd like to show you how to use quilting space on your Pro Stitcher to square up your quilts as you quilt. Until recently, I thought the only function for quilting space was to make sure you didn't accidentally hit the bars on your long arm. Then, my fellow long armer and friend Sherry Harmer with Quilting Together in Blue Rapids, Kansas, told me how she's been using quilting space and it has really changed my quilting lately, so I want to share that with you today. You'll locate quilting space in the area section of your Pro Stitcher. Move the long arm to the top left corner of your quilt. On my quilt, I'm not at the top of my quilt. That's because yesterday I did some quilting. And when I shut down, I lost my quilting space. Every time you turn on the machine, you'll have to reset the quilting space, but it will be with you for the entirety of your quilting time. So I am going to put the long arm where I was doing my basting stitch the previous day. And I'm going to line that up, that needle, right with my basting stitches and then I'm going to select quilting space and then I'll hear an audible sound to tell me that I've selected that. Next, I'm going to want to move my long arm to the frontmost part of the right side of my quilt. I'm going to move this over to where I want my basting stitches to be. As soon as I get it in place, I will select quilting space again one more time on my touch screen and I'll hear another audible sound that will tell me I selected that. Now you may not be able to see that quilting space until you touch this icon at the bottom. After that you will see these dark black lines representing your throat space or quilting space and that will be with you for the entirety of your quilting time and it will stay in perfect place where your throat space will be for each advance of your quilt. Now that we've created a quilting space, let's talk about how to use that to keep your quilt square. We're going to use the black vertical lines on each side as a guide to help us keep our quilt straight. As you know, my needle is represented by my orange crosshairs, so it's going to be my job to line up those orange crosshairs with that solid black line. I'm going to be looking down at my quilt, back up at my Pro Stitcher, down at my quilt, back up at my Pro sti Stitcher. I'm gonna be doing this quite a bit because as I put a basting stitch down the side of that quilt, I'm going to be glancing back up at the Pro Stitcher to make sure I'm staying on that black line. In this particular case, I had to move that red border just a little bit to the right to keep it lined up. A lot of the times it seems that I find myself really pulling the border over to the side, over uh, towards the outside and stretching it. But occasionally it may be different like in this one where I need to just kind of squish it just a little bit, just relax it and help it move just a little bit more towards the right side. So whichever direction you have to move it, you're going to need to be working that quilt just a little bit to the left or a little bit to the right each time. Keep glancing down, glancing up, making sure you're going in a straight line and that's how you're going to keep everything square. You'll move to the right side of the quilt and do the same thing. If you find that your needle is having to line up over in the batting, which I did here, then you'll need to put a clamp, just like I've done, and I know there's a bright light there, so it's kind of hard to see, and I should have turned that off, sorry. But you'll need to put a clamp where you've already stitched, not where you're going to stitch, but where you've already stitched, and that will help pull that part over and get it farther to the outermost area so that you can get your needle down into the border and then do your basting stitch. 
and you may need to really pull at that border to give it a good tug to pull it over and by doing this on your left side and your right side which with each throat space it will keep everything uh, straight and keep your quilt squared up and prevent you from having just those little tiny increments out of line which when you add up a little increment and a little increment and a little increment it turns into a lot so this is just a really really great benefit if you want to start using quilting space now after you've stitched all of this then put your design in set your area as you normally do and get to quilting your area is not going to line up with your quilting space probably so don't be concerned about having two boxes on your screen okay happy quilting thanks for joining me and i'll see you next time